Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening Rarity Collection 2. We've got three boxes here, so we'll jump into it pretty quickly. It's great to be back. Uh, we haven't had a new set for a while, so we're going to get all the packs out here. And uh, look forward to getting some good cards here. Uh, a lot of cards in here that I'm looking forward to personally. Overall, uh, I think, obviously, I, I really like the reprint, uh, all the variations of Rescue Cat. It's just a favorite card of mine, so I'm glad to see that with 14 prints in various uh, formats overall. Uh, and all seven of them, so hoping to get a quarter century of one of those. And then I like uh, Bike Mascarena, I think is a better artwork than the original. And then I like the alt art of Opelousa. So I don't know if I'll hit one of those, but we'll see. We're hoping for the best on that. And then we'll also uh, hope we get some good and good around the way. But I know a lot of people have had some complaints about this set, saying it's too close, it's not as good, there's not as many bangers in it. Uh, and probably, but I think there's a few good ones. I think it's just too close in time to the original Rarity Collection 1 to be as good. Um, so we got Phobia, we got Trishula. Ultimate Slayer. I was trying to sell those, so that kind of sucks. That was a reprint that hurt me. A lot of reprints. We got our first quarter century here, so we got Pressure Plant at Rates off uh, right off the bat as a quarter century. Uh, Unchained Soul of Rage and Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. So, first pack magic. Uh, but I think price point's a little bit rough. These are going currently like 100 to 110 a box. That kind of hurts, I think, for the set overall. And then, uh, dang it, Unchained Soul Rage I also tried to sell recently as well. Uh, Forbidden Lance, we got Trap Trick with Flegia. And then we got Dragoon as a just normal secret rare, Droll and Lockbird, and Silent Swordsman. So I think there's a lot of cards in here that are decent, um, but it's just too close in time, uh, if you ask. I think a lot of people, well, maybe not a lot of people, I think a lot of people think it just sucks as a set. Um, and, and I think there's some good reprints, but I think it's too close to Rarity Collection 1 to hit what needs to be done. There's our first Mascarena. I do like that as a card overall. There's our first Ultimate Rare, Droll and Lockbird. Again, we got Rate Soth, Silent Swordsman, and then we've got a uh, new prismatic secret rare as well. So that's nice of Pellerino, which is a card I'm trying to sell uh, the old reprints. A lot of stuff that I'm trying to sell uh, from the original prints that it came out in. So Pellerino, I've got Garura, which got reprinted in here, Ultimate Slayer, uh, Unchained Soul of Rage. I've got the Chaos Impact one up for sale. A lot of stuff hit me on this one. So Cosmic Cyclone, we got Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre again. Uh, purely Pretty Memory, e -telly. We got uh, number 38. Purely Pretty Memory. And then we've got a Luber and XYZ Encore. So looking for those ultimate rares, looking for the, the good cards. Price point, things everyone's making plan. I think I like Solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning, Solemn Strike, all those cards. Decent. I sold a Guardian Chimera. Charge of Light Brigade. We got Book of Moon. Abominations Prison. We've got uh, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Phantom Knights of Break Swords, one of our collector rares. Reich Phobia. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. And Chaos Hunter. Soul and Luna, we got number 38, we got TG Hyper Librarian, we got Luber. those are both uh, ultimates, we got Masquerade the Blaring Blazing Dragon, we got our first Rescue Cat, just an Ultra, Rescue Rabbit, and then we got our second quarter century as Coral Dragon, it's a pretty good, good looking card, it's not one of the best ones, but it's a good looking card, Solemn Warning. Uh, 
and I'm keeping all my my rescue cats. I think it's it's one of my favorite cards. I, I can't can't fault it. Uh, you guys can't blame me. We got rescue rabbit. We got rescue cat. Oh, the print lines there are terrible. You can see the print lines right there. Uh, but we'll put it off to the side. Anyway, we got a Luber. We got Illusion of Chaos, which is a good reprint that was needed. Borland Dragon, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, and Illusion of Chaos. Good uh, support for the old Dark Magician decks, though, with uh, Illusion of Chaos being printed in here. Magician Souls, big reprint. Some decent stuff. But uh, I guess going back to where I was saying is that some of the stuff was not where it's too close to the original rarity collection is like Cosmic Cyclone, we got good ultra, not ultra, ultimate rare there. We got My Friend Purely as well. We got a Ghost Ochre and Snow Rabbit in our new Platinum Secret Rare. And then XYZ Encore and Foolish Burial. Is some of the stuff that really needs reprints just did not get picked up in this set. Either because it's too new, and obviously they need to keep the price up to sell it, Konami does. Right, we didn't get Bonfire, we didn't get SP Little Knight. We got another ultimate, we got Pressure Planet, sorry, Peaceful Planet Calarium, that'd be a little bit different. Got Garura, we got Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, Droll and Lockbird. We got Psychic and Punisher as a quarter century. Secret Rare here, we got Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit, and Skullmeister. But, well, I guess what I was saying is the cards that needed to get reprinted were either too new or just they need to keep the price up, right? None of the Snake Eye stuff. We didn't get a reprint of that. I'm surprised that uh, Chaos Angel didn't get picked up. A cross out designator, see a card, twin twisters, purely. Got a rescue cat secret rare. Got Phantom Knights of the Break Sword. An Ultimate Slayer. Is Chaos Angel still like a $60, $70 card? Only been printed once. Felt like that would have been a prime target. It's a very, very good card, still very relevant. Uh, you get it with light and dark monsters, Under Goddess, Goddess, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, Coral Dragon, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Gold Sark. We got a DD Crow as a collector rare. Ryko. We got Old Man Says No. For the meme, we got a Unchained Soul of Rage and then Psychic and Punisher. Solemn Judgment meme card. My Friend Purely, Garura, Exosister Pax, Charge of the Light Brigade, we got Peaceful Planet Calarium, Enemy Controller, Book of Moon, TG Hyper Librarian, and Abyss Dweller. Got a nice Opelousa, so it's definitely not the bear, right? For all the the fans of the meme, which one's Opelousa, is it the bow, the woman, or the bear? It's, it's definitely the bow, but some of us like to think it's the bear. Raiko, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, place your vote in the comments. Should it have been the bear? We got Crystal Wing, Droll and Lost Bird. We got Rescue Rabbit. Ooh, we got the IP Mascarena as a collector rare. That's nice. Gonna have that, keep those for sure. Super Nimble Mega Hamster, Bingo Machine Go. Get some blue eye support. And then Cross Out Designator as a quarter century. And then Old Man Warns You. It's all in the morning. We got Super Nimble Mega Hamster, Polly, Polly again, Duggarez, Forbidden Lance, Mind Control, Duggarez the Timeless, Magnifica, and Illusion of Chaos. All right, down to our last couple packs for the first box here. 
Still no quarter century rescue cat. Things are looking bleak. Solemn Strike, Foolish Burial, Trishula. We got Ultimate Slayer, Exo Sisters Magnifica as a collector rare. We got the Prismatic uh, Platinum Secret Rare, sorry, of Abomination Prison. We got Pellerino again. And then we've got XYZ Encore. Two packs left. Can never get these things open. Anti Spell Fragrance, another reprint of Skill Drain, Exo Sister Packs. We got Reich Phobia as a collector rare. We got Access Cult Talker, which is a great reprint, uh, very much needed overall. We've got Pot of Duality. I know we've got a quarter century version of Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. It's a fantastic link monster if you can actually manage to summon it. And then a Luber and Ultimate Slayer. Just too difficult to summon though. Last pack of the first box. Book of Moon, Borland Dragon, Enemy Controller, good collector rare. Solemn Judgment, keep that to the side. Silent Magician, My Friend Purely, Skullmeister, Preparation of Rights, and Skullmeister again. So that wraps up our first box. We'll take a break for a second, we'll come back and we'll start on the second one. All right, let's get started on our second stack of packs here. We're still looking for rescue cats. Quarter Century Opelousa, Quarter Century IP Master Reina are the best cards overall, but like I said, Rescue Cat has a special place for us. Skill Drain, we've got Primeval, <laughs> Primitive Planet, Abomination Prison, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, we've got Unchained Solar Rage, Cosmic Cyclone, we've seen through it. Quarter Century Purely Pretty Memory, it's a pretty dang good card right there. Psychic and Punisher, I'll probably end up keeping most of the quarter centuries and the platinum secret rares for sure. I'm going to keep um, probably many of the variants of Opelousa and IP Mascarena because I think those are just good artworks. Probably most of the Solemn Judgments as well. Uh, I think Old Man Says No is one of my favorite memes. So I just think it's, it's, it just sticks out to me as a, as a good card to keep. Book of Eclipse as card. Mind Control got Skill Drain. Mind Control was one of our collector cards. Skullmeister. Skullmeister felt a little thin there. Pretty much any of the uh, any of the good cards I'll end up keeping from the set. And then I'll decide depending on where the, the value of the box goes, if I want to do a binder of it. I, I've thought about it uh, overall. i got Old Man Says No, Solemn Judgment, e uh Cypher and Overlord. we got the, the Platinum Secret Rare of Purely. It's good little artwork. It's kind of hard to read the names, but what do you say? All right, Abyss Dweller. I don't know, I've seen Ruxin do his. It took him a while. A lot of packs. It's just it's it's expensive to start, but it, it's it's cool. It's a cool concept. It's cool to do. But like, how much of these do you actually like? Like Coral Dragon. I'm not gonna need preparation of rights. Now I'm gonna get a ton of them, aren't I? We got Phantasme, Mind Control. We got a quarter century Soul and Luna. What a hit! Everyone loves Soul and Luna. Cyframe Overlord, Chaos Hunter. Time frame over to like Mega. Soul of Luna is probably one of the worst of the quarter centuries. I don't think anyone asked for that. Duggeriz, Borland Dragon. We got Underworld Goddess of the Closed World again. Got plenty of those. Duggeriz the Timeless, Golden Loose uh, Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Chill. Ooh, got a rescue cat. This one looks to be in better condition than the last one. Hierarchic Seal, Illusion of Chaos, Magician Souls.
Got Rescue Cat going in the box there. MST. I think that's another card that just seems like a meme to put in. Here we got Opalosa, Raikou, Rescue Rabbit, Ultimate Slayer for the Platinum Secret Rare, and then Trap Tricks, Rafflesia. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best, what, what, what your favorite card from set is. I know what the, what the best card overall value-wise is, but whether you think this is too early, too close in time, like what, what's your general thoughts on this? We see something coming up here. We got Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. It's a good looking card. Fusion Deployment, good looking Masquerina card there. It's just a normal secret. Didi Crow, Foolish Burial. But like the main issues, I, I'm obviously, you know, talking points for the set overall is being harped on. Cost value. Did, do you like this compared to Rarity Collection 1? Less packs, almost double cards in a pack, but the cost point, the $100 cost point here. There's a collector. Then we got Opalosa. That's nice. It's a collector. It's pretty good artwork. You know, are you turned off? Are you turned away from the product? if it's going to hit that type of dollar value for a box. You feel like as a player, you know, somebody, if you are playing the meta, did this help you? Right. In a, in a, in a meta dominated recently by, you know, snake eyes, variations, and then, you know, recently by Kashtira, by Tear Laments, things like that. Do you feel like this helped you at all? Or do you feel like they really went too hardcore and put too many cards, too many of the bangers into the first box and then didn't leave anything for the second, setting themselves up for failure? They being Konami. Quarter century, we got Moravis, or sorry, Soravis, the ancient, uh, and descended can't even read and there's also something probably like on that a that makes it difficult to read and then ultimate slayer access code talker so price point too many cards, too many good cards or better cards in Rarity Collection 1. Ooh, Magician Souls. That's a great, great collector rare there. It's nice. Good reprint. Good hit there. And then Ultimate Slayer back to back. Purely. And Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Peaceful Planet Clarium. Is it too much? Like too many good ones. Like everything in Rarity Collection 1 was like, people were like, yeah, man, this is just great. Just card after card after card. Every card was just a big reprint that was, you know, bringing prices down. Here we're hitting cards that, I mean, people are hype about enemy controller, don't get me wrong. But cards out there, ooh, another good Opelosa, that some of these things are not... <laughs> I can't remember what one of these was. I was looking at Skill Drain as the Platinum Secret Rare, XYZ Encore, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. There was one, Solemn Judgment's not pricey at all, for one, and but gets printed enough. Foolish Burials should have enough prints at this point. MST, I, I don't know if even actually uses MST anymore. Gold Sark been retrained at this point. Got a good Masquerade put in our pile. Access Code Talker, Duality, it's been got enough reprints at this point. Probably to suffice. Like did we bring the price down on cards that needed to be brought down? While we have Chaos Angel sitting out there now, Ultimate Slayer, Pellerino, Garura, those cards had one print and were sitting still at 12 
to like $15 each. Probably good reprints. But, back to back rescue rabbits. If we had waited around a bit, would we have been able to hit some other stuff? Twin Twisters here. We got Silent Swordsman. What do we get here? We got Platinum Secret Cyframe, Lord Omega, Psychic and Punisher, and Reich Phobia. Could we have picked up a few extra other ones? Like, wait until November, December, you know, catch the Christmas rush, and you hit, you know, Bonfire or SP Little Knight for its first reprint set. Something that's like, you know, a meta staple. Don't have to hit them both, but bring, bring something to the table here. We got Anti-Spell Fragrance as a collector there. Charge of Light Brigade, Calarium, Skill Drain. Skill Drain's got plenty of prints. High Arctic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres is a quarter century rare. Droll and Lockbird, and Magician Souls. Magician Souls, good reprint. We'll give that one. Like, I do like the set overall. Because it's got some cards in it that I really, really like. I, I really, I think Bike Mascarena is the better artwork compared to the other. Duality is there. The Collector, Ultimate Slayer, Illusion of Chaos is a good reprint. Silent Magician, Polymerization, and Blue Eye Spirit Dragon. But, like, because the Hyper Masquerade's All Heart was only available, same thing with Rescue Cat, was only available in that awful gold rare from Maximum Gold, whatever. Oh, Rescue Cat, speaking of. Put that to the side. Spell Fragrance, Jet Dragon, the Kaiba Jet, Troll and Lockbird, as our collector, Nimble Magma, Nimble Something, Mega Hamster, Mind Control, Platinum Secret Rare, Access Code, Bingo Machine Go. Right, two packs left in the second box. Purely Pretty Memory, Trishula, Magician Souls, Cross Out Designator, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, Silent Swordsman as the Collector Rare Dragoon, Cross Out Designator, Illusion of Chaos. Dragoon's good nostalgic print. That's, I, I don't mind that one either. But like, it's like art, if you're playing in, you know, locals, you're playing and you're building decks. Like, you know, are you running Forbidden Lance? Apollosa, Polymerization, Bingo Machine Go, who's playing, like, Blue Eyes, Consistently, Solemn Warning, My Friend Purely, Silent Swordsman, TG Hyper Librarian, and Forbidden Lance is the last card from our second set of packs. Who's playing this? Like, who's playing Blue Eyes decks and needs these reprints? Like, I don't think that there are this many cards that are too expensive in the Blue Eyes archetype. All right, final set of 18. Need that quarter century rescue cat. Will we get it? Cosmic Cyclone, Ghost Ogre. Saruvis, number 60, Fantastical Dragon, got a Rescue Cat, not the one we're needing, Peaceful Planet, and Psychic and Punisher. All right. So I want to know, that's, that's my main question, is ignore the collection side, you know, as somebody who only does collection stuff, primarily for the guys who play in Locals. Do you feel your value of $100, if you were to buy a box here, is going to anything good? Super Nimble Mega Hamster, Forbidden Lance. Or would you prefer to buy singles off of a guy like me? Because if the answer is you're going to want to buy singles, which is almost always the case, then this product is doomed, right? Those, that's, a, that's a doomed product if you can't get product out without people who are collectors doing the groundwork for you. 
All right, Avalosa, Fusion Deployment, Reichphobia, Quarter Century Ultimate Slayer. I'll take that. Anything other than Soul and Luna. My friend Purely, Steel Drain, Bingo Machine Go. Also, how many of these cards are going to get banned in the next ban list? Like, <laughs> weren't uh, Baron de Floor was in the last one. Banned now. Generic Gate, does this mean? Apollosa and IP Mascarena are in danger. Borlode Savage Dragon is also banned. I'm pretty sure that was in the, wasn't that in the last one? Solemn Strike, Access Code Talker. Oh, oh, we got a Platinum Secret Rare Apollosa. That's a pretty good card. I'll take that. That's like a probably $40 card. Then should I do a binder? Do you think it's worth doing a binder? You wait for the prices of the fall? Would you do a binder? Oh yeah, Solemn Judgment. And then Quarter Century TG Hyper Librarian, Joel and Lockbird, and then Masquerina as a super. Not the bingo machine go. Rescue Rabbit, Solemn Strike as a collector, purely pretty memory as well. Twin Twisters, Rates Off, Boral and Dragon, and then we got just a secret Apollosa, and then Phantasme. Rescue Cat, put that in the pile. Foolish Burial, Cosmic Cyclone, Silent Magician, Mind Control, Rescue Cat Secret Rare, Platinum Secret Rare of Chaos Hunter, Aluber the Jesper Despia, we got a Rescue Cat, Twin Twisters, Exo Sisters Pax, Charge of the Light Brigade, Peaceful Planet Clarium, Duality, Solemn Warning, Pellerino, Abyss Dweller, DD Crow, Solemn Strike, Mascarena as an Ultra, Jet Dragon, Ultimate Slayer, Silent Swordsman, Sarayavis, Magnifica as the Platinum Secret Rare, alright, Hierarchic Seal, got another Rescue Cat Super, Rescue Rabbit, Ultimate Slayer, which is kind of badly cut, but it was a collector. Skill Drain, Abyss Dweller, we got Trishua, and Magician Souls. Exosister Pax, number 38. Primeval Planet Pellerino, Cross Out Designator, Solemn Warning, Illusion of Chaos, Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. It's the first time we've seen Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, I think. Raiko, and then Book of Eclipse. Can't imagine trying to get uh, collect out a, a binder here, though. I gotta give props for that Borland Dragon. 
Look how off center that is, though. I'm trying to want to, you want to try to grade that one? Try to see get an off center grade. That one's bad. Fusion deployment collector. Nimble maker hamster. High Arctic seal. We got something in the back here. Access cold talker as a quarter century. Access code Talker. Still, still a good card. Hasn't been banned yet. <laughs> Probably will be. Dragoon. Anti spell fragrance. Magician Souls. Man, these are bad. That centering's just awful right there. Masquerade, my friend Purely, Purely, Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. It's like I don't think they give off center grades anymore. Enemy Controller, Magician Souls, Abominations Prison. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. It's pretty nice looking though. We got Unchained Soul of Rage. Platinum Secret Rare, Rindbrum the Striking Dragon. Exo Sisters Pax, and Trap Tricks for Flesia. Underworld Goddess, Exo Sisters Magnifica, Droll and Lockbird as a collector rare. We got Gold Sark, Book of Eclipse. We got Abominations Prison as a collector. Solemn Strike as a quarter century. I think that's our second quarter century Solemn Strike. Aluber and IP Mascarena. Two packs left. Where's our Rescue Cat quarter century? We're gonna have to we're gonna have to buy more boxes. Probably can just pick it up for like two bucks though, right? Reichphobia, Solemn Judgment, E Telly, Cyframe Overlord, Cyframe Lord Omega. I say always oh, say Overlord. MST Chaos Hunter. Last pack. I appreciate you guys stopping in and watching the video. That's been a bit of a long one with three boxes of this and uh yeah, hopefully Last Pack Magic, DD Crow, Droll and Lockbird, Anti-Spell Fragrance, Coral Dragon. We've got Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit as the collector. Mind Control, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We got a Platinum Secret Rare of Saru Abbas. And Bingo Machine Go wraps us up. So I appreciate it. You guys take care, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.